Okay, a bit of an exciting one today. Today, it's, we are out of lockdown, and I'm actually able to push through and start doing more of my front lawn. Now, this seems like the project that will never end. It was meant to be finished back in March. We're now on the borderline of October, but all of that aside, uh, Brett's gonna give me a hand today, one of my mates, Brett. We're gonna do our concrete strips here. Originally, I was going to use quick curbing, but because I'm using the sand, and the sand is sort of hard to compact to get a quick curb machine to run on it smoothly, it would have meant that I would have had to make, I guess, a sub base for the quick curb, so some crusher dust or something like that for the machine to run along. So by the time you factor in the width of the machine uh, and get the area perfectly level, sort of gonna be at the same money as doing uh, the more traditional timber form work and pouring concrete from a truck. So I've decided to go that way. Um, so that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to do it in two, two pours to save on material, so I have to buy all the timber to use it only once. So I'm gonna pour this section here today and the other one on the street and then when the last of the sand comes in i'll do the uh the final strip and then we'll be able to level the sand out put the turf down and we'll be we'll be good to go now just about to jump in the car and go and grab the excavator got a little bit of fiddly work to do behind me here uh, a little bit of track work to do down the side so brett's going to get some timber and some steel i'm going to jump in the car and go and get the excavator so let's go guys
Okay, so round two this morning, uh, expecting a concrete truck probably in the next 30 minutes. Uh, Brett's up the back there just doing a few final little touches where the, the uh, driveway is going to marry up to the new concrete uh, mower strip there. So we're going to pour this in, in two sections as I said yesterday. So first one here, then down the street, and then once again, once the, um, once the last of sand has been brought in over here, then we'll be able to finish off this last bit here. So sort of the calm before the storm. It shouldn't be too much of a big drama today. Nice weather, although tomorrow we're going to get rain again. So looking like we're going to get another 10 to 20 mils with a 90% chance. So just my luck that every time we start to get a bit of progress with this project, something happens. But it is what it is. Let's crack on. To give us a rundown, Brett, what are you doing? Watering the carrots. <laughs> Watering the carrots. <laughs> Got some more water feed carrots. <laughs> It costs extra for me to talk on camera. How much extra does it cost? A couple of hours. Hourly rate. Hourly rate of what? Goes up. 50 cents an hour. <laughs> So a bit of luck now, we just got to do a final trowel and edge over the top of this and we do that towards the end of the, uh, at the, end of the day uh, or a little bit later on I should say when it's just starting to go off a little bit or set. Uh, it just makes doing that final run over really easy. Now with a bit of luck once again as I think I mentioned earlier and if I didn't I'll mention it again. Got some rain coming in, how unusual. Um, and this should really help um, deviate the water because what was happening here before with this washout through here was the water would come down uh, and sort of come this side of the, the driveway concrete there and wash through. So I'm hoping now that this, this new mail strip here will send a lot of the water this way, dissipate it a bit as it goes and stop the washout. So I guess we're going to find out that one uh, after tomorrow. So hopefully this will be the last time I need to sweep this pathway and then we'll get some turf happening and stuff like that. video up there today um, so when we come back here again and we get a bit more done uh, we'll, we'll continue on with this with this ongoing saga but anyway guys look have a great weekend we'll catch you next time on the Aussie lawn